Hey Lightweights, today we are back again as Hercule Poirot, and this time we are going to be solving a murder on the Orient Express. Uh, thank you so much to Microids for gifting me an early access code for this game so I can do hands-on first impressions videos with you all. A lot of you really enjoyed my last experience playing as Hercule, so I'm really excited to dive into this one as well. This story takes place in 2023, so it's a more modern tale. Uh, you are going to be playing as both Hercule and his sidekick, Joanna. Um, I think that's her name, if I remember correctly. Uh, so I'm really excited to dive into this and see how all of that works, and I can't wait to see what the more modern setting is. Thank you again to Microids for gifting me this code. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do. Let's do this thing. Tokatlian Tuk Hotel, Istanbul. One of the many places I want to go to. Istanbul in general, not this hotel. <laughs> Ooh. Looking the snazzy. The development you predicted in the Kastner case happened unexpectedly. Please come back immediately. How can it be unexpected if I have predicted it? Wow, well, my friend, is that you? Oh, I like this music. Oh. Go to M. Book at the reception desk. Use L to move air. Kill Poirot. Press X button to interact with M. Wow. Is it truly you, my friend? Book, it is indeed me. What brings you so far from home? A little affair in Syria. An affair of the heart? No, no, a modest affair of recovering stolen artifacts. But now I am summoned home to England and must leave immediately. This evening? You travel on the Orient Express, I hope. I have made no arrangements yet, as I just learned that an emergency has arisen, and I must return to England immediately. Very well. It will be my pleasure to secure you a sleeper on the Orient Express. If the director of the line insists, I accept with pleasure. And we'll dine together, for I too depart this afternoon. We'll have plenty of time to catch up. I'll have the hotel transfer our luggage. Excuse me, sir. You are the director of the line? The Princess Dragomirov would like to know if she may keep her minor in her compartment on the train. Uh, good morning, Princess. It is an honor to welcome you aboard. There is absolutely no problem for your pet. You will ask about his food? Oh, yes. The Princess Dragomirov would like to know if there is food for minors on board. Insects, uh, small amphibians, baby rodents? Baby rodents? Uh, of course, <laughs> Princess. Don't worry. Your bird will be fed as you demand. Not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be a cat. <laughs> you there, desk clerk. One moment, sir. Listen to me. Call the police. My train ticket has been stolen. Stolen? Oh dear. Oh dear. You travel by the Orient Express, Monsieur? Arbuthnot, Captain Archibald Arbuthnot, formerly British Army, now retired. And yes. I'm taking the Orient Express to Paris. But what business is that of yours? My name is Book. I am the director of the line at your service. And perhaps this gentleman could assist you. He is Hercule Poirot. I... Oh. Uh, but I must make that train. <laughs> A train ticket. Yesterday I recovered artifacts worth several millions. Please, my friend. It's not just any ticket. It's an Orient Express ticket. Very well, I will investigate. <laughs> Thank you, Poirot. If I must. I will arrange a car to Sirkechi station for us. The player's current objective is represented by this icon. Open the mind map for more details. I suppose I should offer my assistance. Okay, has lost his ticket to the Orient Express. My friend Book has asked me to investigate. Talk to the captain. Oh, we need to invert. Hold on. <laughs> invert, invert. <laughs> uh, controls. Ah. <sighs> 
Much better. How do you know your ticket has been stolen, monsieur? I put it on a table in my room. I came down here to breakfast, and when I got back, my ticket was gone, and other things were on the floor, as if they'd been tossed about. Hello, monsieur. I suggest we begin in your room. Will you lead the way? Open the mind map. Okay, what can I do to find the captain's ticket? You can now access this workshop. Open and complete it. What can be done to find the captain's ticket? Connect the elements on the left with those on the right. Okay, I love this. So we can search the neighbors, the door, and the bedroom. We can interrogate the neighbors, and we can inspect the door. That's the right answer. <laughs> okay, I know that one was simple because it was our introductory one, but I find those so satisfying to complete. <laughs> They make everybody seem suspicious in this game. <laughs> floor, Captain Arbuthnot? Fourth floor. Oh, one mystery solved. <laughs> I love his sass. I suppose I can exercise my powers of observation while we wait. Okay, analyze this character to learn more about them. So he's British. I mean, he's definitely not 70, but he's definitely not 45 or 21 either. And we know he's a retired captain. So much fun. My little gray cells did not let me down. <laughs> character analysis are special workshops. Once completed, the analyzed character will appear on the characters tab in the pause menu. Press the start button to open the pause menu and navigate to the characters tab. Nice. Okay. I could see that being really tricky. I thought those were tat- are those? Can't tell if that's tattoos or not. I don't think it is. Could you imagine? Woo! My room's along here, 411. In a hotel of this quality, a thief. Come on, come Ooh, on, don't that's dawdle. Pretty. It'll be a disaster if I miss that train. All right. It's 2023. I'm sure they have a digital copy. You have locked the door, monsieur? Naturally. This is a foreign country. You have the key card? Of course. We will enter. You should lock your room even in a non-foreign country. <laughs> You're asking to get robbed if you don't. The lock has not been tampered with. Ooh, nice room. I got a bathroom. Okay, so there's 11 clues. It's nice how it tells you that. The door has not been forced. Nothing there. A different shower room? A perfume bottle. Empty. Suggestive. Okay, so I doubt he's wearing perfume. So did he have a lady friend over? The wallet is somewhat warm. It contains just over $200 and the usual cards. 
So the cash wasn't taken, which is interesting, because if it was a robbery, you'd think they'd also want the cash. Bosphorus cruise. Sheet from a tour of Saint Sophia. I don't think I clicked into this one. A stamped reservation for the Bosphorus ferry. A brochure for this fascinating city. Chocolate bar? Why do you have a golden mustache? You can never have too many of these. Wait! <laughs> it's a collectible? That is amazing. A conspicuous gallantry cross for meritorious service in Iraq, yet he only retired as a captain. A list of travel expenses, but how did these papers end up on the floor? The bed is skillfully made. So I'm um, assuming the cleaning staff? This earring, it is not the first time I've seen it, but where? Oh, shoot. I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a puddle on the floor. <gasps> what are you? What are you? You're a puddle. Why are you there? <laughs> water with traces of soap. The water is scented. He had a lady friend over. <laughs> 10 out of 11. Oh, no. What did I miss? All right, let's see. I didn't find anything in here, so there's probably something in here. Oh, there's a mustache. Another golden mustache to treasure. <laughs> Not that that's a clue. It is nice that they tell you when you've already discovered what you need to discover from something by graying it out like that. Okay, maybe the luggage. Nope. The windows. Oh, uh -huh. course, it's impossible for a thief to have exited through the window. Okay, how could a thief get into the room? Is it possible that in this busy hotel a thief got in here unseen? Choose the right answer. A thief may have entered through the window. A thief may have forced the hall door. A thief may have entered using a key card. So we know it's a key card for sure. Et voila. Only a person with the pass key could have entered the room. The door was locked and the window is unreachable from the outside. Only a person with the pass key could have... Okay, so now I need to interview... I need to interrogate the neighbors. Okay, so there's two neighbors to interrogate. Um, excuse me, sir. The room is apparently empty. I will leave it for the moment. All 
right, that was easy. Now let's go check the other side. Someone's having a grand time in there, though. Not in that room, but in one of the surrounding rooms. Go away, please. A brief word, sir. I will give you two brief words. Go away. <laughs> monsieur, I've been be traveling jerk. all night from New York. Must I call the management? Pardon, monsieur. <laughs> I do not believe we have awakened a thief. Listen, he had a lady friend. Tell me about your lady friend. How long were you at breakfast, Captain? A half an hour or so. Just a roll and some coffee. Why was there an earring in your room? An earring? A previous guest, I suspect. I don't wear them. Did you leave the window open? No. That must be how the thief escaped. I think not. Unless the thief had wings. Or spider powers. The bed is very neatly made, but the corners are not military style. The price we paid for this hotel? I'm not going to make my own bloody bed. Interesting pronoun, that. We. I told you he had a lady friend. <laughs> Tell me about your lady oh. friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Select two elements that reveal how the ticket could have disappeared. The captain invited someone. Bed is well made. The window's open. There are scattered papers on the floor. There's an area. So we want this one. And this one. And the scented perfume and the soapy water on the floor. It all adds up. Select two elements that could reveal how the ticket... Okay, so the window being open and the papers on the floor. Because they could have blown the papers off the desk. Look at me, I'm freaking genius! <laughs> the wind probably blew the papers on the floor as it came in through the window. Moreover, the door is closed, and I found an earring on the bedside table. The captain invited a woman into his room. Maybe she is our culprit. I'm right again. That happens to me a lot. <laughs> All right, could the wind have blown the ticket from the desk? Who is the woman who entered the room? Oh shoot, I wasn't paying attention to their earrings. Okay, the princess was not in the room, please. She was acting really suspicious. She was acting real suspicious on the elevator. That was easy. Oh, yeah! I must ask the captain about the earring. Captain Arbuthnot, I have examined your room. Much was revealed, possibly more than you expected. Rest assured, we will soon find your ticket. It's about bloody time. I have a train to catch. As do I. You are traveling on the Orient Express? We. Oui. If you will be good enough to answer a few questions, we may both make our train. Ask away. Please, give me an account of your movements yesterday. I spent most of my day in Istanbul, sightseeing. I returned to the hotel as the sun was setting. The desk clerk can confirm I was alone when I picked up my key. I spent the night alone. I had no visitors in my room. Hmm. <laughs> Which of these sentences contains a lie? Okay, I spent most of my day in Istanbul sightseeing. I believe that because there were sightseeing pamphlets everywhere. I returned to the hotel as the sun was setting. I have no way to confirm or deny that. The desk clerk can confirm I was alone and picked up my key. I could go ask the clerk, but I don't know that right now. This one we know is a lie. Have you told me the entire truth, Captain Arbuthnot? Of course. I want you to find my ticket. Select the element that proves he's lying. The earring. Can you explain the earring I found on the bedside table? An earring? Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, forgive me, Mr. Poirot. I had some business correspondence. 
that wanted answering. The hotel provides help for business travellers. They sent up a secretary. I dictated a letter and she mailed it for me. I hadn't noticed that she had lost an earring. And when did you invite this uh, secretary? This woman may be the thief we are looking for. That was yesterday evening. My ticket was still there when I went down to breakfast. She can't have taken it. Hmm, I see. Never mind. It is easily checked. And uh, there was no other person in your room? No, I swear there wasn't. Ah, well, never mind. If it is not her, there is only one option left. Fine. Please finish your job quickly. I'll be downstairs in the lobby. <laughs> What's the last option if it's not her? That was my only thought. <laughs> okay, so now I need to know more about who cleaned the captain's room. That still doesn't explain the perfume bottle and the soapy water could have been him from the shower. But there was still a perfume bottle in the trash. That was empty. Pardon, monsieur. May I inquire when the staff begins cleaning the rooms? Every morning at breakfast time, sir. After making certain there are no guests in the room, of course. Okay, that makes sense May then. May I speak with the chambermaid who cleaned room 411 this morning? I hope you don't think that one of our staff stole the ticket. No, 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 no. no. Do not distress yourself. <laughs> we seek only information. I will summon her at once. Oh, I'd ask her to bring her laundry cart. Are we about to go digging through dirty laundry? <laughs> this music is so good. What is this? The Hotel Tocatlian is a perfect prelude for my journey. <laughs> Do not be frightened, mademoiselle. Did you clean room 411 this morning? Room 411? Yes, that is one of mine. Did you see a ticket on the desk when you entered the room? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't notice a ticket. There was a wallet, but of course I did not touch it. Did you open the window? Yes, we always air the rooms. Oh, but I forgot to close the window. While I was making the bed, the person from next door was pounding on the wall. I wondered if he needed assistance. I tossed the dirty sheets in my cart, quickly finished mopping, and went to see, but it was nothing. But I'm afraid I left the window open. I'm so sorry. The window left open, papers scattered on the floor. The chambermaid cleaning the room. I believe I can now visualize what happened. Did it accidentally get picked up with the dirty, dirty laundry? I have all the elements I need. I must now put them together to understand what happened. Okay. The chambermaid opens the window. Oh. Oh. Woo, that's cool. The ticket blows. Oh. Okay, wait. <laughs> the chambermaid parks her cart behind the desk. All right, so that goes... That goes here? The chambermaid opens the window. She changes the bed linen. The dirty linen is dropped. Oh, so the ticket needs to blow. The ticket gets blown in the wind. The ticket lands in the cart. Oh, that makes more sense than what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking it somehow blew on the bed and then she picked up the, sh okay. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's see. The chambermaid parks her cart. She opens the window. She changes the linen. The ticket blows in the wind. It lands in the cart. She puts the dirty linen on top of the ticket and she leaves the room. I'm right again. That happens to me a lot. <laughs> it's so satisfying to get those right. I should explain to the captain where his ticket can be found. Mademoiselle, would you be so kind as to look in the sheets from room 411? How is she gonna know which sheets those are? Just making her dig through dirty laundry. And so the missing train ticket completes its strange journey. An open window, a laundry cart, and an annoying neighbor. But chance is the only guilty party in this dark mystery. Mr. Poirot, I apologize. I believe my concern got the better of me, and I forgot myself. Thank you. It was a case of great magnitude. I'm glad I was up to the challenge. <laughs> oh, the sass. And that, I think, is that. I must collect my friend Book. It's time we were leaving for the station. Our bags are all packed. I have my ticket and papers. If you give me yours, I'll hang on to mine. But as your secretary... As my secretary, you see to the bags, Hector. Yes. Yes, sir. That man, I have a curious impression of him. As if nice I were to say observing that. a wild animal, uncaged. All right, guys, I am going to stop there. Once again, I am totally hooked. I love all of the mechanics of this, putting the pieces together. Um, there was some new mechanics to this one that were not in the last one that I tried, which was really cool. I loved having the different tile cards that you had to organize. Uh, and I loved making those connections with the mind map like we did before. It's just all so cool. And I feel like a genius every time I get it right, even though this one was the intro one. So, you know, I'm sure much easier than they will be going forward. Um, but I just love collecting those clues putting those pieces of information together and I love trying to figure out in my own head what happened before actually progressing with the game. I'm, you know, nine times out of ten not correct, but it's still so much fun um, and I just really think the mechanics of this are just so well done. When you find all the clues, it's... <sighs> It's still a challenge without being like overwhelming, figuring out what happened. And I just absolutely love that. Um, Hercule Poirot, just his character is just great. Uh, I love the sass. I love the attitude. Very true to form for his character. So I'm really glad they were able to capture that for the game. Uh, so Murder on the Orient Express is available on Nintendo Switch. Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. So wherever you game, you are able to play this game. I had a ton of fun with this. I'm really excited to keep playing. I hope you guys are intrigued by this game, just like I am. Um, if you are, you can use the link below in the comments to, in the description, <laughs> uh, to check out the game for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day.